record you just in case you have something really awesome to say. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's unusual. As you know, Marcus, I think I've been with Street Tax for about a year. Yeah. Um, uh, this morning, Mary and I woke up. She's my business partner and realtor as well. She had a text 7.30 in the morning from another realtor saying, please, um, maybe you could talk to the people at Street Tax because uh, I'm a realtor and I'm seeing your stuff all the time. And uh, <laughs> I thought it was kind of amusing. She was uh, giving us some tips on maybe how to do some marketing um, at seven in the morning saying, you know, um, you're targeting realtors and, you know, um, I'm thinking, well, that's for me, I'm thinking that's wonderful that it, it's working. People are seeing it, you know, but it was uh, probably a bit of a, a concern for her if she's seeing it. She's, she's scared. She's intimidated um, by you. You know what? She's a very successful realtor in, in our region for sure, or has been. Um, and, you know, obviously I think one of her clients must have reached out. Um, and, you know, with some of the, one of the comments was, you know, they do a lot of, um, um, reaching out. There's maybe too many emails going out or too many. So anyways, I took it with a grain of salt and said, you know what, good for her. She's seeing us do our job. And, uh, you know, obviously there's some, some nervousness in her. Yeah. I mean, and I, and I get it. I get where people are coming from, especially when Facebook changed everything. You can't just exclude audiences anymore. Mm -hmm. um, yep. so, so what you have to do is if you ever see like multiple submissions coming in from anybody like that, that's where you recognize the ad ID and shut it off. I mean, that's the only thing I could tell you. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah I'm not, I, I, how can I say this without coming across as being rude? I'm not worried about her. You know what? I think, yeah. you know what? Yeah. You I'm sure she does her own marketing. And you know what? Obviously, if ours seems to be working a little bit better because she's seeing it, good for us. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as you're, if your ad is performing, because ultimately you got to look at the ad's performance. And if it's if it's doing well, there's no there's no need to change it. No, no, you know, no. Because no. here's the thing with Facebook in the top of funnel, it, there's so much abundance on the marketplace of Facebook, so much abundance. So if, if you just focus on the relationship post click, it's not going to anybody. Everybody forgets that it's not like you're competing against the next realtor. Once that lead is submitted into your dashboard, that's yours. Yes. That's ultimately up for you to you, right? To create the relationship with that person. And because mm -hmm. uh, if you don't, inevitably someone will. Someone else will, yeah. Yeah. And that, you know, and that's the key. And, and I think that's where we really got to focus on our follow-up game to, to be really mm -hmm. about the long-term and staying in front of them. And, and speaking about that, is there a way, I know you, we just entered, you guys just introduced this, what is it, second um, way of security here. I forget that the proper term. Um, Mary and I have just hired a service. We're going to be making phone calls on our behalf because like, um, you know, I know you were talking a week ago or two weeks ago about, you know, different levels of success with uh, street text. And I didn't speak in, but uh, both this year, about the, half of our business came from street text. Um, we've done 60 deals this year, which, you know, what we're very happy to do. Um, but, you know, uh, Mary will look over and say, where'd this one come from? And I'll say street text and street text. And, you know, so it, it works. It really does. But where we're lacking is in the follow-up, you know, where we have captured some phone numbers. We a uh, fellow approached us about, you know, maybe reaching out on our behalf with a script and following back up on some of the old clients. Um, so what he's running into right now, and that's why I'm looking at my phone, is that often often the code that's coming through, I'm a little slow in getting it back to him and it is time sensitive. Okay, well, first of all, um if you just said you did 60 deals and half of those were street text, pretty much, you're, yeah. You're, you're telling me that you've done about 30 deals from street text? I, I would guess if I, we had a board there, Mary just erased it, it's across the wall, and it was full. And I would say about half of them were from street text, yeah. Okay, so let's break that down and then we'll get into the, the needs that you have. Um, yeah. Talk to me about your follow up with these leads. Like, so, what, what, how do you begin the, the relationship? from somebody who, you know, casually seems to be scrolling on their newsfeed and clicks on an ad about their home value? So the first thing I do is, you know, what is, um, I, if there's a phone number involved, I reach out and I call, of course, you know what, I think it's, it's like you say, the, the speed to the lead. So I want to get in contact right away. Um, and if they're not available, I will then go on and I will take the time to send a CMA. First, I go into our property online and make sure that, you know what, they are the homeowner. You know what, we do get a lot of leads who, you know what, I just want to know what my neighbor's house across the street is where. So the first thing I do is I go into our property online, check out if they actually are the homeowner. 
um, even if they're just curious, I will go through the process of filling out a CMA. Um, and then they're, of course, in the system. They've got their CMA. I also follow it up with, I send that to them. I send them a home beat. I, I'm sure I don't, everybody familiar with home beat. It's basically a follow up within our CMA program that will um, once a month, once every three months, whatever the client wants or the person, the customer wants to give them an idea of what's going on in our neighborhood. So here's what's happening in your neighborhood. These are the home sales across the street. So they're getting that, you know, as well as the street text. And then we also then put them into our bomb bomb account. And so they are then getting, you know, the touches from bomb bomb and Mary and I, of course, do the once a month, uh, you know, online, online email. So they get to know who we are. Um, there's still some tweaking to do. I think we, you guys touched on it where we want to make maybe the first email that goes out a bit of a video so that people know who they're talking to. And this is the face you're, you're talking to. We haven't done that yet um, because we're usually when we're behind our computer, we've slipped into our, you know, our evening wear, the sweatpants and the sweatshirts and, and all of that. And, you know, so we haven't had an opportunity to sit down and, you know, look professional and do our, you know, our introduction video, but that's next on the list to get done. But uh, it, it works. And once they get into nurturing, you know what, the, you know, we'll have people reach out and say, hey, I've been receiving your emails, your texts and, you know, and text messages. And um, we'd love to have you come look at our house. And that's the key for us. Um, you know what, uh, Mary's over there across the room and I can give you a little quick peek if you want to see her. She's over there working. Um, yeah, you're, you're on the screen. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. But um you know, she's very good at with with relationships. Oh, sorry, I closed you off here. I don't know what happened. Oh no, I can still see you. You, you can still see. Okay, there we go. She's great with once we get in the door. It, you know what? It's almost like okay, that relationship is built. It's getting people to open their door to you. And yes. So, so that's a lot of what we're doing up front. And so, talk to us a little bit about open that door because when you say speed to lead, um, if you don't mind, Philip, I'd love to play do a quick role play with you. Yeah. Uh, if you know, let's just say you got a phone number that comes in, right? And, you know, I don't know if you treat everybody differently. Um, if someone says just curious or, you know, time sensitivity, uh, or do you treat them all the same? I, like treat, I treat them all the same. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. So I'm going to reach out just to introduce myself. It's my kind of spiel is, Hey, it's my name is Phil Shannon. I received your free home evaluation request from Facebook. Just reaching out. I promise you, um, I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. I just wanted to introduce myself. This is a no strings attached, you know what, no commitment thing here. Um, I'm going to send you a CMA because you requested it. And, you know, um, if you like the numbers, if you, you know, like our approach, if we'd love to come view your home to give you a much better, uh, you know, accurate value because, you know, we can only base it on the comparables in your neighborhood. So if you're really serious and you want a number and what I have here now is like, I'm not going to tell any stories, probably about 20 to 30 people in the pipeline saying, Phil, we're actually looking for next year. We're going to reach out. We're going to reach out next year. I'm going to talk over with my wife. We'll reach out. So, you know, um, it, it's worked for us here in, in this, um, this part of the country in Canada. It, it, you know, it's something that, you know, um, Mary will tell you, I'm pretty much a, guy who just wants to jump on everything There's, oh let's just try this see if it works let's try and see if, and you know that yourself marcus when from our first conversations you know what i mean i'm thinking i don't know if this is working i don't know you know i'm not really seeing anything and um you know you know so much so that i didn't even commit for the year um now i'm waiting for my bill to come up i'm just going to pay for the year because you know what i know it works you know see and that happens often in the beginning because you're filling it out and you're just trying to figure out well you know it it takes some time to kind of figure out the process and really understand the top of funnel is all about the long term so you know how long have you been with street text now philip it's it's about a year and a couple of months i think so i think i've joined in june of last year i think is, is the date okay and so yeah. you know and you've translated 30 deals out of that and so yeah and let's yeah. just say you spent, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month on um, street tax. Well, yeah, right. and that's a couple hundred, you're right, on street tax. And, and you know what, again, because it is having success, I'm bouncing around in my ad spend between six to seven hundred dollars a month. But you know what, when you're closing maybe two deals a month out of street tax or three, you know what, it, you got sometimes you got to spend money to make money. And, exactly. you know, and there's times where I'll come back and I'm overwhelmed and I'm thinking, oh my God, I got 40 people to get back to. And I'm thinking, okay, it's, you know, it's going to be four to five hours on the computer. But again, whether they're curious or serious, or if they're looking for a CMA, they're getting one. So have you calculated, calculated your ROI yet? I haven't, you know what? And I don't, I haven't used your 
platform to do that. I wish I kind of would have been all along saying, you know, close deal, close deal. We've just been kind of looking at our board saying, okay, that's, that's a street tax that. So I, I know, how can I say we are um, making, we're on the positive, that's for sure, you know, with street tax. What's the average home sale in your area? Um, average home sale right now, it's about 300. Okay. So at 2.5%, you're that's making about, you know what, uh, six grand, a little over six grand. And you know what? So so yeah. six times 30. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah. It, it's really worked well for us. You know, well, there you, there you go. And I, you know, and I think ultimately that's the key guys with the top of funnel is that you got to really think about long-term, you know, um, it's not going to be a 90 day fix to your program or mm -hmm. to your solution. It's not going to even be a six months. I mean, when you really start seeing the fruit of your labor and you've done the process in that year, I mean, that's where I think ultimately you start looking back and start seeing many of these relationships start coming to fruition. And it's, it's classic, Philip. I mean, you're not the first one that says that whenever I see someone who's actually been with Street Text for more than a year, almost always they've got an extremely good ROI. Mm -hmm. I think ultimately where people give up short, like of that, um, that's when they usually come back and bet their leads and realize that a lot of those leads actually end up going out, going with somebody else. And then they're like, mm -hmm. oh man, I wish I would have done it a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And, and we still see that, you know what, I'll, I got a note yesterday and you know what, it, it wasn't malice or anything. A fellow was getting a, an email from me and he said, you know what, Phil, I already sold my home. So I simply sent them an, an, an email, said, you know what, congratulations, enjoy your new home. I, I hope everything well for you. You know what, it's, it's really about presenting yourself as a professional and, you know, in a positive role so that, you know, maybe next time this, his transaction didn't go so well. And, you know, he knows that, hey, we're here and we're, and we're, you know, we're, good people we usually get along with. There's, you know, there's no any kind of negativity on what we do. So take me back to the beginning when you're trying just to learn street text and then what you know now, what would you have told yourself, um, you know, knowing what you know now about how to actually create relationships with these leads and how to nurture them along the way? Well, I think, you know what, it would be to relax a little bit and not to look for that deal, you know, three to four days in and say, oh my God, you know what, there's nothing going on. I think we've had those conversations, if you remember, calling mm -hmm. up Marcus, like, what's going on? There's nothing happening here, you know, and it just, you know what, again, letting the leads flow in and, and giving them the time and your attention and, and building that relationship. You're absolutely right. I think that's what today's, um, uh, mastermind is about and it and it's so true like you know um we've got a, a listing coming up here that again through street text we went out and visited the lady a month ago and you know she wasn't quite ready to sell she said you know what um when i'm ready i'm calling you guys and so you know that was a month ago and she could easily have gotten forgotten i mean we don't have a crm which probably we should have and and you know again we're i'm fairly new to real estate four years um mary's had her own way of doing things. And you know what, I, we're just trying to figure out where we are together, you know, and how it's gonna work for both of us. And it works very well, but, um, so I called her, you know, two nights ago. I said, oh, you know, we're out to see you. And you know, I just wanna, yeah, yeah, I'm still on track. She said, I'm, I'm ready for the third week in November and, and you're our go-to people. We're definitely listing with you, but it is about staying in touch and reaching out. I mean, a lot of Mary's business came from referrals and past clients. Um, you know, when I came into the business, I didn't have any of that. So for me, um, working another job for, you know, my whole entire adult life, I wanted to add something to us working together. I wanted to see results because if we're doing the same thing Mary's been doing since she's been in, you know, 30 to 40 or 50 deals a year, I didn't feel I was adding value. You know what, we, we need to increase our productivity. And that's where street tax come in. And I've tried many other programs and none of them work as well as you know, as good as this program does. That's amazing. I mean, and so what, what have you found, you know, in this year has been key processes of um, like staying in front of these people at, you know, and, and um, you know, whether the, the mailers or the, the personal check-ins or how have you stayed consistently, like going back to the very first lead that you started from street text over a year ago? Well, I think, again, it's, it's your nurturing, which is, you know what, the, the emails are set up, you know, very well that, you know, and, you know, people are responding. Julie, to me, sometimes we're counterproductive. You know, I'm not getting my, I'm not checking my mess, my text messages as I should. So I'm talking to somebody and they say, well, I already told your assistant that. 
And I'm thinking, well, who's my assistant? <laughs> so I'll look it up and say, oh, God, well, yeah, there it is. So I, I then tell them, you know what, it's part of the nurturing. And I apologize. You know what, um, you are going to get some messages from her. But you know what, I'm just following up to make sure that, you know, I get all your information before I send you a CMA. So to follow that up, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of communication, you know, sending that out. And, and this is why I have this fella now. Because I was going back and calling the people like, you know what, okay, let's go back to June of last year. These people said they were interested and then, you know, they're getting all the nurturing and they kind of gone cold. So let's just give them a call because I have their email, their phone number. I'm going to call them up. Hey, Johnny, how are you? It's Phil, just checking in. And so where the housing industry is so busy, I'm sure all you guys probably agree. We are, we are run off our feet up here. Like, you know, if you have a listing, you're golden. Uh, in Halifax, there's, there's no listings um, in the whole province we had about 80 listings come to market. Um, so, you know, the, anything of quality is selling very quick and, and over asking, which is a new market for us. That's uh, the Toronto, Vancouver market here in Canada. I'm not sure where everybody else is, but those markets have been existing for years in Toronto and Vancouver, but it's just kind of arrived here in Halifax and it kind of makes real estate um a little bit easier if you have listings listings are the key here you know what you could spend months with a client looking to buy a home and that's why we really just target you know sellers and now how many of these sellers have you found actually want to actually end up you know using you to find something too to buy um for those i would say about half we're we're the second oldest province in canada um so though a lot of people we're dealing with um, are elderly and they're selling their home to move into an apartment or they're moving to a seniors complex or they're moving, um, you know, just a single, you know, to with family. Um, we're drawing a lot of people in from Vancouver. We're drawing people in from Ontario because we're still a reasonably placed price place to live. And, you know, we have, it's a small city, very small city. So it has a nice feel to it. That's awesome. So, yeah. Hey, I've asked you a lot of questions. Anybody else has some questions for Phil? This be the time to ask. Perfect, because I don't like to talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question. Sorry, Phil. That's okay. Um, I know you said you're looking for someone to do some calls. I'm actually looking in that same vein. You looking yeah. at a virtual assistant, or are okay. you looking for someone more local? Um, we had a fella call us, um, and he and he seems quite good. Um, his name is Christian, um, and I actually he I'm just gonna check out his email. But anyways, he approached Mary about two weeks ago, and as you know, as realtors, we get a lot of calls, and a lot of people are salesmen. This guy was very personable. We've tried this in the past with a different company, and you know, unfortunately, the guy not unfortunately he he was quite nice, but he said, "Here, I want you to meet your new caller," and we got. Hi. It was like a 19 year old girl and then there's nothing wrong with being a 19 year old girl but she was very um naive and you could tell that you know she wasn't meant to cold call that wasn't going to be her thing she wasn't um you know um very well spoken um this fellow his name is christian he's uh you know he's in his 30s and you know he convinced us to buy his product so if we feel he can convince us then you know what he's probably gonna be able to talk to uh some of our our people and maybe you know, pull a deal or two out of there and you know what, it, and he's paid for himself. But uh, yeah, sorry, uh, his name is Christian. And I, if you want, I can text, text you his company. I think they are out of the, out of the USA. And oh, he just, great. yeah, and he just calls people and uh, he's very personable. And I think he'd appreciate the uh, referral. Thank you. I'll put You're my welcome. contact in the chat. Okay, perfect. Steve, I think you had a question there. You're around. Can I unmute yourself? Yeah, I just, um, I, I used a company called Agentology and I found, I found that they were just, um, uh, it was almost like a bot. It was almost like Julie. Um, mm -hmm. um, is it, uh, and then they, they switched their names. I can't remember what they're now, but um, I found that the, um, a lot of those companies are using bots to, to it, the, cause I was doing lots of, um, internet leads mm -hmm. uh, off my real geek site so um just um look look for new look for somebody that can actually um actually talk to people like like a 
like an actual human instead of like a, a robot almost right so. yeah and, and that's that's exactly what this guy does he's very well spoken he um has a british accent which is great you know what i mean um people find that interesting i'm sure but uh he's very well spoken and and he does talk to them personally he's calling them up individually and that's why he wanted to get in as i said i don't have a crm so he wants to get into the back end of street text and get those list of phone numbers and uh you know start calling people okay what do you do uh, with your home beat? Like after, sorry, this is a Canadian content one because uh, you guys don't have a home beat. But yeah. um, what do you guys do like home beat on a monthly basis? Or do you set everybody up on monthly right away? Or I, I do those who are saying they're, you know, you'll see people say looking to list immediately. I will, I will change that and make it a monthly thing. Um, but usually when I'm talking to them, I, I explain what home beat will do. Okay. You'll be, you'll, you know, if your neighbor sells this house, you'll get this, like how often would you like it? I can set it up for once a month, once every three months, every six or once a year. And I do let them choose what, you know, what their timeline is so that they're not getting emails that, you know, they're not um, open to receiving. So, you know, like you, you know, you, you told me three, three times a year. So that's, you know, what you're getting. Yeah. So, so I let them kind of decide where they're at and that way they're, you know what, it seems like I'm listening and really I am. So it doesn't seem like I am listening. Sounds good. Hmm. Hey, Phil, have you a Mary? Um, Cause you've been at it long enough now. Are you running any retargeting ads on your clients as well? Cause when you're, when you're not running a CRM and you're talking about the follow up and the reach out, Several other people have already put in here about using Bomb Bomb, the generic kind of canned one to send out. So at eight o'clock at night in your pajamas, you don't have to worry about how you look when you send one of those out. And it's still a touch. But if you've been at it for a minute, the you the retarding ads at even you know five bucks a, a month or whatever, because you're just going to reach out to the folks you already have in there, keeps the touches going. Okay, yeah, you know what, um, Leon, I didn't even again, I'm not real familiar with that because. Um, again, you can look, I'm 55 years old and I'm not great with the computer. I'll, I'll be honest with you, but, um, it, it's, it sounds like it's money well spent. It really does. I think anytime you can get a second touch on them, it's, it's a good, good idea. How would I go about that? If you don't mind this, if you go in the street text insider group and look in the files, go to December 19th, there's a word doc that Steven and them had posted in there and it's got the retargeting. And dude, 55 is a new 45. I'm older than you, so let's not start this. <laughs> today. I don't worry about that. Uh, well, I'm but computer I'm illiterate. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, it, it's in there. And oh. um, the retargeting kind of helps because if you're not running a full-blown CRM, you're still getting the touches. And then that way, at least when you follow up the activity on them, then of course you can get the follow-up. Yeah. And, and, and one last thing, I don't want to make this about me. Um, are you guys all familiar with Jackie Lawson? Mm. She, she, for like, I think it's a hundred dollars a month. Uh, I'm sorry, a year. She makes, car she'll do cards like Halloween cards, Easter cards and all. So you can send them out to your whole group at, at really no cost because you've already paid for it up front. Like we just sent out about 70 Halloween, happy Halloween cards. You know what I mean? To people we just recently done business with only because that's all the time we had to do that evening. But it goes out and the next day I, I'm getting all kinds of thank yous. Thank you so much for your card. Hope everything's well. So, you know, it, it's Jackie Lawson is, um, and she does up, you know, wonderful cards that and they're sent via email, the e-cards. So, you know, if, if one of your clients is, having a birthday or if it's an anniversary on a home or anything like that, you can send them out right from your computer and it shows up in a nice email and it's a, it's like an animated card. It's quite nice. So we, we, we also do that. Um, you know, but again, it's trying to stay in touch as much as possible. So, you know, we used to do go around and give pumpkins out, you know, drop pumpkins off or for Halloween and so on and so forth. But, it wasn't a good return on investment. You know, maybe 10 people call and say, hey, thanks for that. But the cards really work very well because they have some sentiment and, uh, you know, people are responding to them. Thanks for sharing, Phil. Oh, you're welcome. Just out of curiosity for everybody that's here, um, if you use the chat feature right now, let us know how long you've been with Street Text so far. Um, just so we kind of have clear ideas on where you're at with Street Text specifically. Um, and if you, you know, if, if you've been with us for a while, we'd also, you know, if you're willing to share, tell us a little bit about your success, um, you know, or if you are willing to share as well, your lack of success so we can help you. Mm -hmm. um, because that's key here. If, you know, for me, whenever I see anybody that's been at it for a while with Street Text, um, 
I feel like we should have at least a few deals under our belt. So let us know um, and, um, and then we'll kind of shift this conversation to help each other because I think if you're in the first 90 to 180 days, you still gotta be patient, right? You still gotta be very patient and cultivate these relationships, understanding that um, most of this is a, is a long game. And you know, when everybody, when there's someone who gets a deal right away in their first week or even month, you know, that that's awesome when it happens, but it's not going to be, it's not going to happen all the time. Um, so sometimes it sets you up for thinking that you're going to get one every week or every month. I think when, you know, Phil, do you remember when you were um, first starting with Street Tech, how long it took you until you first saw your first transaction and then where things started kind of picking up in these yeah. deals? Yeah, it was probably about two months in, um, you know, we, we met a, a couple down in Sackville. We went to view them um, or, I remember her name. Her name was Dulcie, Dulcie and Glenn. We went to view their home, and um, after giving her the the CRM and you know uh, CMA, sorry the CMA, um, we were pretty close to what she could list her home for, and she was very happy. She said, "You know what? You guys are here. Thanks so much." Um, you know, and yeah. So about two months in, her name was yeah. Cool. Very, yeah. And and so what are the have you been running the? If someone were to buy your home, would you sell it? add indefinitely like have you ever changed it up I, I have changed it up and I have really hadn't had any success with anything else if you can I'm sure you can see in there there's a lot of pictures of homes and a lot of this and a lot of that and and you know sometimes you know you're getting like a you know a price per click at eight dollars and so on and so forth so for me I just found the the map view and the um you know the they call it satellite view really work work for us here. I mean, I think right now I'm running at about 46 cents um, per click. Or, yeah. Yeah. It, it's incredible. I mean, and I have, you know, I, I, I have seen everybody try something local because there's a funnel in the live account that says what's your home really worth. It, it looks like a blue home on it and you can mm -hmm. upload any image you want to it. And it's basically saying, enter your address, receive your home value. Very clear on the call to action. Um, now, what I found still to this day that if you use that funnel, it's still working best with the map for some reason, based on, you know, and, you know, there's always exceptions, right? There's always exceptions like, you know, Curtis, I know you're doing a San Diego one or, you know, in the higher, in the, in the, in the hard to kind of um, compete market, sometimes you want to change it up because you never know. But in general, I've seen this map out produce almost everything. And, and it's usually and typically, which is weird, the, you know, I've seen it oftentimes be the, the dark satellite one. Yeah, and, and not to contradict myself, but in the summer I did run one. You may see it there. It's a picture of some lakes, and we are the city lakes Dartmouth is. Um, believe it or not, at one point I was a paddler, I raced competitively and, and all that stuff, but that is synonymous with Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, which is just on the other side of the bridge from Halifax. So a lot of response. Oh, I remember paddling there when I was a kid. And, you know, and, and uh, because I used a sort of a, a picture that, you know, people recognize as Dartmouth as opposed to, you know, something, you know, generic. So, you know, if you can pull something that, you know, like say people recognize in Halifax, we have a place called Citadel Hill, you know, which is an old, ba old battery, an old, you know, fort. Um, so if you can hit them with something that very much is where you are i think you can have some success with that another thing is you got to sometimes think about the market that you're in and where you're coming in at like for mm -hmm. for years now everyone's kind of started with a nine dollar day ad spend um almost you know since we started four five five years ago um it's that that was the recommended ad spend i don't necessarily think that's the end all be all for every market mm -hmm. i think ultimately you gotta you gotta test it like you know if you're in Las Vegas, nine dollars a day might not be at the cut, or 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 uh, in San Diego. I mean, you can still try it, but your compete your your competition is completely different now. Everybody is running Facebook ads some, of some sort of capacity, and it's not just your competition; it's the entire marketplace on Facebook that you're you're auctioning against, right? So you gotta ultimately test that um, and be willing to embrace that every market might have to come in a little bit differently. You know, you can have some markets where we've seen leads come in on the cents and some markets where it's, it's hard to even get in there, uh, let alone grab an address within $10. I have a so, question. Chris. Something to think about. Yeah. So right now, I mean, I've only been at this less than a week. 
and I had to turn my ad off two days ago because I'm getting so many clicks from people that are just curious. Um, the reason I had to turn mine off is because I'm trying to do the CMAs for them. Most of them are not registering with a phone number. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. You know, I know I just started, but I feel like I'm spinning my wheels and not getting anywhere <laughs> real quick. Welcome to Phil last year, because that's exactly how <laughs> I felt. <laughs> I really did okay. feel that way. And I was talking to Marcus about that. And you know what? And um, if you stay the course, I think you're going to find you're going to get great results. But am I doing something wrong, Phil? I mean, I feel no, like... I don't think so. I mean, the, the phone numbers, you know what, they come and, but it is about, you know what, if, if they're just curious, it's a great way to introduce yourself. Hi, I know you're just curious, but here I am. You know what, yep. if that, if that ever changes, you know what, we've met, you know what, and you know, that's how I approach it. They're just curious are every bit as good as somebody looking to list tomorrow, because if they're it's curious, to market to, you know, yeah, yeah if, if they are curious, then they must be curious for a reason, you know, okay. so they might be somewhere down the road where they're saying, okay, you know what? We are, I think we're going to make that decision. Um, oh, look, Lynette's been sending me some emails. We, we know a realtor now. You got to, okay. and that's the key. When you pick up the phone, you got to really allow them to feel like you're not there to sell them on anything. As mm -hmm. soon as they feel like you're selling them on something or trying right. to live their home, they're gone. So you got to almost treat every single lead as like, hey, you know, I just wanted to call you. I know you were probably just randomly scrolling down your Facebook mm -hmm. news feed like most people are and you clicked on my ad and you were just curious, you know, but I'm here to actually, you know, and then you, you, yeah. you follow it up. Um, and I think if you look at Jan Key or anybody that's picking up the phone and, and having success on the conversation, it's it's breaking the ice in a way where that feel, that person's allowed to, to bring their guard down. Mm -hmm. And the way you send emails, the way you send text messages, like you guys all can go in there and customize everything that's been sent. So when you're like Julie's counterintuitive, Phil, well, Julie can be changed and shifted to, to make a message that you feel more authentic, okay. right? And yeah. customize. And we can work together on that. But that's the key, like your emails, your SMS, your mailers, everything is about the experience you want to create for them. And, and it's not about producing CMA after CMA after CMA either. So in some cases, if you're getting flooded with lead flow and, and it happens, um, just pull back and, and, you know, create an experience you want them to have that really emphasizes why you need to talk instead of just simply, uh, you know, CMA after CMA after CMA, which you're spending so much time doing in that case. Because every market's different, and then in some cases, if you're getting less, you know, you're 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 only getting one lead every couple of days because of the market, and obviously you're going to spend a lot more time on that lead and give them the the most incredible process ever. But when you're getting flooded, it's different. What was that look, Wendy? <laughs> any uh, yeah, so any um, experiences so far that you'd like to share? I think it. it there's no one way to do this. I think it's ultimately, you know, you got to find your your flow. Wendy's got follow up boss and bomb bomb, and you know she's she's customized like half a dozen emails in the first week with video in it, and you know you've kind of took, taken a little bit of a different approach and played the numbers game. I actually I actually talked to a Facebook um, person yesterday through Messenger, you know, because half the time it's either not the person or they don't see it, so it goes to their spam and whatever. But um, anyway, she's like, who is this? <laughs> and she's like, I didn't ask for this. And I'm like, yeah, you actually clicked on my link on Facebook. So I screenshotted the ad um, and sent it to her. I said, it looks like this. You know, you were interested in your home's value. So I did a video for you. And um, I saw she didn't open it it on anything so I sent it through messenger and when you do a bomb bomb email you can actually do a link to the email so I sent the link to the email which had the address and everything in it and I mean unfortunately she is not a seller at this time and she didn't appreciate me <laughs> signing her up on HomeBot without her permission <laughs> it's a very great conversation but hey we had a conversation and she knows me now <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think a lot yeah. of it is absolutely letting your personality shine through in, in, in your communications because eventually you are going to meet them and you yeah. want to be who you are. So like, you know, there's no pretend, no sense of me pretending I'm Marcus 
or, or, or Sarah or anybody, you know what I mean? It's, I'm going to be me when I communicate with them. And because that's the person ultimately, you know, they're speaking to that they may hire. So, you know what, right from the get go, this is me. I'm Phil. How are you doing? You know what? I'm not here to pressure sale or anything like that. I'm just, you know, responding to your request. So I right. think I mean, they asked for it. We're giving it to them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's all known like before that trust is established. You know, mm -hmm. you always get the exception where people could be um, in some, some sort of financial bind or situational thing where they just got to get rid of their property. But that's, that's, that doesn't happen all the time. I think majority of these people are going to have uh, a level of, um, you know, a wall that you got to kind of break through first and foremost. And some people are better than that than others, you know, in terms of winning friends and influencing people and kind of leading with a contribution first value first you know i'm here for you i just want to be a resource i just want to get you the best information and then you're you're um i think the key is your nurturing has to continue to reinforce that because it, it is obviously the first impression and the continued impression you're making um because if you if you lose sight of that with a lot of those leads especially as time goes by they'll end up if you don't stay consistently in front of them with an effective method they'll end up following like picking another realtor that know got their attention that's what that's what i find from everybody when whenever i find someone who's um struggled let's say they start they've done a 90-day plan with street text they vet their leads you know about a half a year to a year later and they find out a ton of those went with another agent it's a tough it's a tough swallow a pill to swallow because you're like well you 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 thought these were going to transact in the next 90 days and that's not the case it's not it's not a system that's built for that you get one every once in a while but that's not what you should be looking at for a at least a top of funnel solution. Um, this is going to build your your database for the long run. Marcus, what's everybody using after the ninety days of of Julie? Well, Julie's set up for nine months, by the way. Nine months, okay. And um, and, and when you say Julie, Julie is just the text messaging. The email is you. So the text message is actually only set up for the first week. But you could go in there and actually add in text messaging and emails for every day of the year if you wanted to, meaning you have you have the ability to customize your drip and your SMS and add actions. And I think we need to do some better training on that to show people how how that's possible because the the drip that's in there for the seller one is just a generic drip until you go in there and customize it. The SMS as well. So you can add in additional emails or subtract, you can add in uh, text messaging, you know, in weeks three or week four if you wanted to and subtract and so forth. So it, it's all up to you to go think about, you know, reverse engineering the process you want to create and then think about the messaging that you want to have to stay in front of them. Has, you know, has so anybody like, just done it? I just want to copy. I don't want to do the work. Yeah, I know everybody does, right? It's like, <laughs> it be the easy way. Um, right. You guys need to have that extra service. Like you can do the retargeting for us. Just do it. I don't have time to learn it. <laughs> I think. I, I have a that, question, Marcus. Yeah. Um, I just, I did a, uh, what do you call it? A split test yesterday. And I think since yesterday, I've had over 55 emails come in telling me that I have, well, and, and you know, some of them are just, they're not even addresses. They just give you the city and you get rid of those and that's okay. I don't have any problem with that, but getting 55 emails that keep saying to me, I have this street text. Is there any way we can, um, change that so that I'm not, I'm not getting 55 emails on my email program every time I open my phone. Yeah. I'm, uh, so you can turn that off in your automations. So when you go into your, your account and you go to settings and then you go down to all automations. Okay. And then you, th you look at that automation and you basically, um, you know, click edit that specific yep. automation you're talking about. And so you can look at the sequence of automations that are being sent you know, starting with the email that's to you right here, there's a little okay. on and off button. Oh, okay. um, and then this is where the automatic email that sends off the day three, the day 10. So what I was telling you guys is, for example, if you had this automatic email that's sending off and right now, generically, it's just doing kind of something like this, it's not going to serve you very well um, because it's no brand. There's no email signature. There's nothing about you personally in there. So you got to think about it in terms of how you, you brand yourself. Um, can I can I jump in there? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so what I did is I took that email you just had up, uh -huh. and I copy and paste it for every one. So 
you know, because it is a great email and I put in the, their name, their address, and I actually put in their value that's coming in their CMA. So I actually send out myself personally as an email. So because I found it was so well written, I just copied it and pasted it and I have it in my email. So for everyone who sends me a street text inquiry, that's the first thing they're getting. Hi, here you're, I, I read, you know, hi, Betty, thank you for your interest in this property, uh, such and such an address. Here's the, the high end, here's the low end. And then at the end of it, I added, by the way, I am going to be sending you a CMA and a home beat. So that, you know, they're looking for that to come in the mail. So and then I let Street Text do the rest. But I do send that email out myself personally out of my email box. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, because it's, it's a game of, because you can go to your email records and see who's actually opening that. Yes. And then who's, so obviously deliverability and then opens. But if, you know, if anybody's embedding video in there, it's not showing you if that video is being played. So this is where it's so important to have a personal follow-up plan where mm -hmm. even if it's the same canned response, you send that again to get clear with the communication you want them to have and receive and then measure that communication. So for me, like as a bomb bomb user, for example, if I'm sending something, I have the, um, the Chrome extension that shows me the open, the play of that video. And I get notified when someone plays on it, as well as the, um, any links that I've wanted them to, to see or click. So, you know, Wendy has like a connection to her Facebook, so if someone clicks on that link, she'd be notified that someone actually went and looked at Wendy's um, Facebook profile, right? So you got you to gotta make sure you measure the follow-up side of this too, um, not just allow an automation to continue and, and see what's being open and what's not. And then, you know, that reinforces you to kind of like, if this happens, then what? Um, and then what you should have, you have to have a, fo a follow-up plan for each scenario. So I just want to jump in here quick too because Phil you said something there that's really important I just want to make sure we all caught that so you send the 3MA effectively three times yes because yeah. you have a really short version in the email here's your range do do yes and then I'm gonna send you in the mail a CMA so they know it's coming yes and then you're gonna add them as on the home beat or you could do home bot or you could do some other mm -hmm. um, cloud CMA type thing as well so you're getting it three times. That's really powerful. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're basically, they've got their, their, their ask right away within that the first message. And you could send that by text message. You could send that by uh, email. You could send that however you want, that very first touch. So you could make that four times they, they receive their own value. But think about that from the person who requested information from you. They're going to be thinking, man, this person really over delivers on their promise. Like, because they're getting it not once, not twice, but three times. You can make that four times. That's huge. That's really, really big. And I bet you that's going to have a big impact on, on the fact of your, uh, your results. Because everybody now knows I can trust Phil because Phil delivers. Mary and Phil deliver on what they say they're going to do. So it's, uh, and then it moves forward. It kind of, it builds on there over time through the follow-up and the different touches. But that's, that's a really key thing. And, and, and I like how you did it because you did it in a really easy way. Something that's super digestible. Yeah. something that's really easy to execute on yeah it's, it's almost like you know point and click really it really is it, you know other than the cma which takes a little bit of time but um we have cloud cma here in canada maybe it's it's probably an american thing as well and it it you know what it, it's it's a great way to do a cma to get you you know um and i hate to say it but i sometimes use uh the viewpoint too and i'll put it in and it'll say okay here's what the, the range of um, values are in a neighborhood from here to here. And I just, I just sort of congest it all into one nice email, like that's a short email and send it off to them. Great stuff, guys. I mean, hey, open this up, 12 minutes left or longer. We, we, we like to go a little bit past the hour. We have fun here. Um, open this up to whatever you need. I mean, whatever you're looking to get out of this mastermind, this is the time. This is the time to ask. This is the time to share. Um, because this is a once a week, the once a week you, you get a chance to actually talk with everybody using street text. So make sure that you don't shy away from asking or getting help. Uh, I have a question for Phil, if Phil doesn't mind. No, not at all. Uh, so Phil, you were saying, so I'm in Canada as well. I'm, I'm in Barrie, Ontario. Um, yes. Um, so I was wondering with cloud CMA, I haven't used that yet. I've been making my own, like a manual CMA and it takes a lot longer. Yeah, right um, now it's free right across Canada. So you can have a 14 day trial um, for their full package. So you can go in and from, and, and in Canada, they only offer three things. They offer a, 
cloud a track which you can you know send out to different people on facebook but it's you know it it, it, it is very effective before street text i was using it they have their cloud cma which is their cma and they have home beat and they are offering it free until january of some time oh that's pretty cool yeah thank you i'm going to use that thank you you're welcome yeah and, and it's it works it really does work yeah, no, I mean, we have it. We have it in Vancouver. We have it free for the whole real estate board. So maybe uh, check with your board. They might have it. Well, we have the cloud CMA free, but not their full package like um, WRX Studios. I think it is. Yeah, I just I, I just signed up for the home beat. Yeah. Um, I found the cloud attract was uh, yeah. just repeating what Street Text is doing. It, anyway, it, it so. is 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. You know, there's only so many hours in the day. So, um, you know, but it is there, um, you know. And like I say, for here in Canada now, it's free right across the board right until January. So it's a great follow-up that ties in with Street Text. I find it works really well for me. You know what? Street Text is finding the people, CRMA, uh, you know, um, Cloud CMA is putting the package together that I send to them af after the fact. There you go. So, so Americans home bot, right? Canadians home beat, mm -hmm. FYI, in terms of different um, opportunities. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm seeing something here in the chat box, guys, that says that HomeBot um, isn't always accurate, that some of the data is six months old. Have y'all had experience with that? I've never had it that old. It is off a little bit, but mm -hmm. I don't go in and tune it until someone looks at it because, you know, when you're looking for a touch to get a response, I don't mind them correcting me when it's wrong because that just mm -hmm. feeds off one of the other street text mindsets about, telling them what the internet's best guess to their home is. So I just say, hey, I wanted you to see what the internet thinks of your home. But while I've got you, you give me a little more information. Let me get you a better assessment or evaluation mm -hmm. and send it. Um, one thing I was going to talk to real quick, and, and Phil said this and I was laughing, you know, it's that time of year where we're all supposed to be trying to roll along, trying to finish here strong. Um, street text gives you a free seven day trial. Everybody's tried that. But you know, the mindset point of this is why not take some of these other free trials that you have, they'll be linked to your email, and go blast it out, whether it's Cloud CMA or some of these other ones, go in, hit your database and use the free trials. Don't sign up for it and wait a week to do it. Sign up for it when you want to do it and get it out there. Because the idea behind it is you're hitting street text leads anyway. So if you're using the other databases or platforms to send it out to get the activity going, um, one of the things that, that I always say to remind people, if your campaigns have stopped running, those folks are not getting touches. You need to re-engage. So you could go back in and export your contact list out of street text, put it in one of the you know, cloud CMA or one of these other ones, HomeBot, whatever, get it out there, get blasting and start generating business. I never chase a new shiny button, but th this is a way to increase your bottom line. You, you've mm -hmm. already bought the leads. Why not use them? Also real quick, Jeff is now my new client. <laughs> <laughs> so I posted my link in there and I'm probably going to regret this because it's going to cost me a fortune if everybody clicks on it and fills out all their info but <laughs> if you do click on it and fill out all your info you'll get to see my videos so that's the easiest way to do it um, Marcus does it daily <laughs> and what do I do daily and, you, my, it's funny because my friend that does the CMA she's like oh it's Marcus again <laughs> Oh, anyway, I use you as an example. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're going to get an email that states that, you know, I'm licensed in Nevada. I'd love to help you here. Um, but I have friends and agents everywhere if you need help, you know. So it's a standard email that goes out. So sorry, you're probably going to get it from her. Um, but at least you'll be on it and be able to see, you know, what Julie sends. You've got to put your phone number. you got to put your email if you want to see everything. So um, anyway. <laughs> Are you going to call us and harass us to sell our house now? Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> or just, you know, send me all your referrals. I mean, okay. Wendy, you're, you're such a leader when it comes to taking action. I, I love it. I, I'm curious, what, what's your plan this week? What's something you're taking action on this week that, uh, that's on your oh mind? Oh my gosh, this is an amazing week. Well, besides the election. But um, <laughs> the... Uh, it's hump and bump weekend and I'm a Jeep girl. So I'm going to be calling out on the rocks and LV Sweet Homes is sponsoring this event along with um, some other great sponsors. 
so we get to go out there. I get to lead trails and tail gun and spot people over obstacles and probably wreck a whole bunch of people's rigs. <laughs> but um, it's going to be so much fun. So um, that is uh, my main goal. And usually every time I go out of town, everything goes into escrow. So it's always a good thing for business and pleasure. And, and uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more Jeep business because I love working with Jeep people. They're fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. If, I, if I was down there, I'd come join just because that would be so much fun. Uh, who, here is, who here is hosting an event or has done, like, did anything for Halloween or I'm just curious. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of people doing pumpkin patches. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's the coolest thing ever. I don't know how they get all those pumpkins, but <laughs> that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that someday. Uh, now it's um, not. I'm thinking like Christmas is coming up, but people are probably going to be wondering like what's happening this year, you know, families, it's, uh, you know, you've got uh, Thanksgiving, you got all these other things that are coming up, really good opportunities to sort of do something creative as well that can help the community. Yeah, so typ sorry. typically for Christmas, what we do, Mary and I, is we put a little bag of candy together, one of our calendars in there, and we'll look up our street text contacts and, and you know what, we'll just, you know what, we'll go out and we'll, we'll door knock. Say, hey, you know, thanks. You know, it's great reaching out. Good seeing you again. Here's a little bag of candy. And, you know, I mean, maybe that's not going to work so great this year with COVID, but you know what? We'll wear our masks, you know. But uh, that's what we typically have been doing the last couple of years is going out, you know, going door to door, finding the time to actually say hello again. And, you know, and, oh, little Johnny's doing well in school or, you know, he's graduated. And, and, and you know, just stay in touch with, you know, and, and say hello in person. So I make doormats for all of my buyers that bought this year. Oh. So this is what they look like, super cute. You can get these at Ikea for five bucks. And then I just spray paint them all white. I put stencils on it and then I spray paint them red. And then I That's take the so stencils cool. off. I had 40 this year. <laughs> and then we made a whole bunch of wine that are going to the sellers. So I have to work on my wine labels. So I do a lot of stuff for people that I did business with. And then we also give moonshine to people that refer us to people. So lots of alcohol involved with the holidays in Vegas. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I never thought of doing something for all the street checks people too. I should like do something. I'm sure I'll have time. Um, you know, another thing to kind of consider, and I know I don't see a lot of people doing it is, is are you leading some sort of Facebook group? Because if you aren't, you're missing out on an opportunity to, to reinforce why you want to connect with somebody on Facebook and add them to your group, especially if it's something that you can, you know, expand beyond the, the home value thing for where it's like the best of, you know, fill in the blank and drive content, your favorite small business owners, your favorite mm -hmm. peoples, right? People that, you know, is all part of the big picture of real estate it could be financial size, it could be the landscapers, mm -hmm. the contractors, yeah. everybody that you know, you trust. In, that in, Canada here, have... in Canada here, we have a thing called Park Bench, and that's pretty much exactly what you just said. Mary does the Park Bench side of it. She'll go out and do interviews in, in the community. Hey, how are you? I'm Mary Nash. You want to tell me about your business, and we'll put it out. We'll put a little link onto our Park Bench account, and then you become the trusted sort of um, neighborhood expert. So, um, you know, and again, a good company to work with. Um, but that's, you know, her side of things. She's left the room. But um, yeah, so she has a little website park bench. And it's like, you know, that she we bought like five or six different communities and quote, do an interview with a business owner and, and they can go on then and post her specials on there. Yeah, you know what, it's, um, you know, some dinner, you know, some diner, they may be giving you 10% off coupon that they put on our website. And, you know, we become a bit of a community expert. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> I need ideas. I have home in Henderson a group and I just kind of go on Facebook to try to find events that are going on in Henderson and share them mm -hmm. and then share with things. But that's really cool. I like that idea. Yeah. And then they do a lot of the work other than, you know, they'll post different stuff, but you know, we go out, we do the interviews. So, you know, if there's a, an insurance agent, we just reach out to one, Hey, you know, she reached out to us and Hey, you know, I'd like to help you guys with, um, you know, your new home buyers and, you know, I can get them, you know, a, you know, a letter of insurability. So, you know what, we did a little interview with her. Here she is, you know, she's talking about her business. Some people are reluctant because they don't want to be tied into one realtor. 
you know, um, you know, you go to a, you know, a mortgage broker. I'm sure they don't want to be kind themselves to Phil and Mary because there's, you know, 2,500 realtors here in the city that, you know, they don't want to alienate. So you try to find those people who really want to do an interview, like a woodworking shop or, or whatever, who then they're local, they're in a community. It's amazing. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I just won't ever sleep just so I can <laughs> doing all this amazing stuff. Well, and That's I think why that, we have coffee, right, Martin? Yeah, well, it's true. Coffee is, is a cure. Um, the thing is, you just got to figure out how you can consistently stay in front of somebody all the time. And I, and I think ultimately we need to figure out, all of us need to figure out how we can use social to do that. So, because your business page is only sponsoring yourself to get in front of somebody to get the click but then you have to actually create the relationship with that person through your personal social. So just remember that that's, that's the biggest connection point and the time where people are spending the most in their, on their phones every day and their devices. So that's why you reinforce that relationship part of it. Um, and if you could figure out why you can get that connection easier through messenger and through a Facebook friend request and so forth, then maybe the Facebook group is, is the bridge to it. Right. So just like the street text insider group is the bridge for for me to reach out to somebody who's just starting a street text trial I'm like hey i want to add you into the street text insider group i want to give you great resources and help you meet the community um you know and a lot of people like are like yeah that makes sense i'll get them i'll also accept your friend request and they don't know me yet and the same thing goes for you you have to figure out well what what's why would they want to connect with you outside of the obvious which is just the home value just something hey guys it's marley hey marley Hello. Hey, Mark. <laughs> so um, I got back reengaged, and what I did was I sent out um, kind of uh, well an, another intro email, or asking if they wanted an, an updated home value. And then I have a YouTube channel, and so I sent a follow up email the next day, asking them to subscribe for like local real estate news. And I did get a few subscriptions, so I'm gonna go back and follow up with them with like a personal video. Um, but if you have another like social media account that may be like you know, veering them to that. If they see you on multiple platforms, I think that's good also. Hey, Marley, post your uh, YouTube thing on there and I'll subscribe to you. Yes, everybody subscribe. <laughs> so I'm glad Marley said that because, you know, we, we you can park your videos somewhere else. YouTube is a Google platform, 50 videos or more. People will come find you. But um, I asked in the group, how many of you go through your database? I know everybody doesn't do it every week because I don't, but one of the things that, that, that if you're leaving money on the table, if there are people coming into your site that you don't work, find someone in your office to refer them out to. Let someone else make you some money. That helps offset the cost of your platform because if you're sitting there with a ignored lead or a dead lead, give it to someone else to work. There's, there's, I mean, you're spending money, run it like a business. I have a quick question, Paul Williams here. Hey, Paul. Hi, um, asked this a couple of times in terms of um, Inserting fields into emails text, is that available to us? Will it be available if it's not? So in the, in the, in the forms, you mean in the capture? Yeah, so somebody comes in and they filled out the form and we send an auto text or, you know, like, especially like an email, um, you know, does it automatically say, hi, John, uh, et cetera? You know, do you have information on your, address i haven't delved into that to know if that's available or or what yes it does automatic well so so okay. it depends on the funnels you're using it depends on the like if you're using facebook lead ads versus a dynamic lead capture um how far they've gone into the funnel right because if they're for the seller funnel it's a it's an address followed by an email and if the if they stop there obviously they can't you can't just get their phone number or their right their, their uh, name um if they get to the last part of it that's where the name is collected so it depends on the ad and funnel you're using. And Makes then sense, once, sure. so then you want to go into that specific funnel and cl click edit on the automations. If you go to your settings and recognize all the sequences of both text and email that are going out. And that's where you start adjusting it to be more about your brand, your personality. Um, Got it. that it's, it's templated when you start. So if you leave it blank, it's always just going to be generic and you're going to just play the game of mm, sometimes they get responded to, sometimes they don't, most of the times they don't. Um, so I think that's where really, if you focus on your first week 
but it's all about creating a narrating experience of you being about contribution and getting to know you and you know how it's it's a complimentary no strings attached you know like you were saying phil all that's the words you want to use complimentary no obligation no strings attached my way of giving back to the community that this type of of verbiage is what's going to allow them to actually converse with you great stuff all right uh i know it's been i know you you guys some of you need some more coffee thinking i know i do <laughs> so um reach out to um your peer group in the insider group if you if you want some feedback you know share it you know get Get a hold of Marley's YouTube channel for some ideas. Get a hold of Leon for some ideas on his YouTube. You know, see what Phil's doing. Maybe Phil can share some some of his scripts and strategies based on his success. That that's the key. We want to share, and we want to contribute to each other so we can all pull from one another and, and make each other better. That's speaking that's what Street Deck's all about. And speaking about sharing, some people have reached out and asked um, about Jackie Lawson and about the fellow who's doing our phone calls. Will the screen stay up so that I can respond to them because? Again, I'm pretty limited in my abilities. I'm listening and paying attention and I'm not texting. So um, if somebody's asked, I will get back to them. But um, will that side group where, you know, where people have been chatting, will that stay No, up? it won't, it <laughs> won't, Phil. So here's my recommendation for everybody. Go from here to the Street Text Insider group and you're all friends with another in that group. And so, you know, either find Philip on um, Facebook or just create a post in the Insider group um, yeah, Phil, um, you can create a post in the insider group, like a discussion post. Absolutely. And for anybody who was interested in getting what I had to talk about today and just post it there, then you can get people commenting and say, me, 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 you know, that's probably the okay. easiest way to Sure. I'll just like say, or I can just go on there and put it all out there. Here's who I, you know what, um, here's the guy who's doing our calls, Jackie lost some cards and, and I have no problem doing that at all. You know, it all, it all helps. Love it. That's, that'd be amazing. We appreciate it. Yeah. All That's right. awesome. Well, everybody, like, well done. I just want to say, awesome. Good on you guys. Way to go. Like, you know, you come here, it's, uh, you know, post-election, still election, it's going on, and you're, you're here, you're, you're bringing the energy, <laughs> but you're bringing the energy, and, and I think that's, that's, that's it, right? Like, you, you move mountains when you, when you bring energy, you, you, you keep moving forward, because uh, every week, like, every week is an opportunity, and this is another opportunity in front of us, and, uh, so good on you to keep going, and especially for, you know, our American friends, uh, your guys' elections are, are different than ours. And so they're exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. They're on every single news station in the world. And that's a, that's a big deal. So it, it matters, it matters to the world. And so you guys, we're, we're cheering you on and, and I'm excited. I'm excited for, uh, for your, your week in this year. And so way to go, way to come to the mastermind, stay hungry, stay humble, and just, just really move ahead. It's exciting. Marley, I'm so excited to see you back, by the way. So reach out to me on Facebook. Your videos need to be front and center with your marketing and your advertising and with your follow-up. So make sure that when you turn all this back on and all of you, that first week is all about that. And you have a bomb bomb account. I know you do, so we'll talk. Uh, um, hey, Marley, Marley, just post your YouTube channel inside the Insider Group and anybody else that wants everybody to subscribe, that's how you get everybody out there. That's referrals. So I, my suggestion to everybody is don't worry about if you didn't get it in here. Just go post it in the Insider Group and everybody can just subscribe to each other and let's keep it going. Okay, yeah, I did it here, but I'll do it on the Insider. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll Thank talk you, to you as well.